Hi guys, Meredith here. My kids and I recently finished an ocean unit study in our homeschool and we spent one week studying sharks. Um, and so I wanted to share with you some of the books that we found useful for our shark unit study. If you're trying to put together your own collection of shark books for the little learners in your life. So I'm going to start with Please Be Nice to Sharks uh, by Matt Wise. This was a really big hit at our house. Um, it's written in a really fun way where the sharks speak for themselves. They introduce themselves. So we have whale shark, bamboo shark, um, and explain a little bit about what they're like and then ask you to please be nice to them. And uh, I could tell that um, my daughter really liked this because the day that we read it later in the afternoon, she made her own picture of a shark and she listed some shark facts and wrote please be nice to sharks big on the bottom so i could tell that this one really stuck with her um and i thought it was a lot of fun to read too so that's please be nice to sharks then i have sharks have six senses this is um a let's read and find out science um, book. Uh, I am a really big fan of this series and whenever we're doing a topic that uh, has one of these books available for that topic, I always try to uh, get that and this one doesn't disappoint. So um, it goes through and explains the different senses that sharks use um, and how that uh, affects them as predators. So really cute illustrations and I always think these books are written in engaging and accessible ways for kids. So that Sharks Have Six Senses. And then this beautiful book by Owen Davey is Smart About Sharks. So this one has lots of shark information and facts. And I just think the illustrations are really fun. They have this vintage look that I find really appealing. And the colors are so nice too. So that is smart about sharks. Okay, then we have Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. So I love to be able to include a biography uh, in a science unit and especially a uh, biography of a scientist and a uh, women scientist at that is great. So uh, this tells the story, the true story of scientist Eugenie Clark um, from her early fascination with sharks to growing up to become a shark scientist. So this was a great way to learn about her. We hadn't heard of her before and uh, a good role model for a woman in STEM. So shark lady, then paleo shark, survival of the strangest. My oldest son loved this book and we actually ended up reading it twice because he thought the information in this was super interesting. Um, so this shows uh, uh, prehistoric shark, sharks that are now extinct um and the ancestors of modern sharks and this is really cool really interesting information and some of these sharks are truly bizarre and there's nothing like them around on the planet anymore so look at his strange jaw just really fascinating to learn about that is paleo sharks and then i have uncover sharks or uncover a shark. Um, and this one has a 3D component that lets you look at the different systems of the shark. Our version of this is kind of falling apart. I bought it used online, online um, not knowing it was not in very good condition, but it's still cool even with that. So we have the skeletal system, cardiopulmonary, reproductive system, digestive system, liver and then muscular system is just missing here oh we missed sensory nervous system dermal system so really cool and if you can get a copy of this that is in better condition that would be even better but 
Even our broken one is pretty cool. Okay, and then I got this How to Draw Incredible Sharks and Other Ocean Giants uh, for my kids. I just think it's, I, I like to include things like this in our unit study. It's just an extra way to engage the kids in the topic. Um, so this one goes through different kinds of sharks and gives you step by step on how to draw them. Hammerheads, angel sharks, and these are cute and um, accomplishable for kids. So, and then yeah, it has some other non-shark drawing in there too. How to draw incredible sharks. Okay, and then we have wandering whale sharks. This book is really pretty and uh, I think whale sharks are so amazing and mysterious. Um, this text is sparse but poetic um, and sort of um, an experience to read it. So I'm transporting you into the world of the whale shark. Really beautiful book. Wandering Whale Sharks. And then Mission Shark Rescue. This is by National Geographic Kids. And this is all about sharks and how to save them. Like most things or probably anything from National Geographic, it's filled with beautiful photographs um, with lots of information about sharks. We didn't read this cover to cover because it's a lot of information, um, but we've read bits and pieces of it and it's just fun and interesting. That's Mission Shark Rescue. And then this one is Shark Swimathon. It's a math start book. Um, I just thought it would be a fun way to add a little bit of math into our shark unit. I'm always trying to sneak extra math in when I can. Um, and this one just tells the story of a shark swim team and they are trying to get enough laps in to be able to qualify for a tournament. Um, so they're adding their laps and figuring out how many more they need to get um, each day to be able to make their goal. Um, my my kids listened to this and kind of figured out the math along with them, which I think is great and makes the point. Um, my 10-year-old had issues with the plot. He did not understand why the sharks needed to swim in a pool while also being able to swim outside of the pool, <laughs> um, which is a good point. But um, if you have a younger kid or a less uh, literal kid, that might not bother them. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just a fun way to put a little math into our shark unit, Shark Swimathon. Um, I have a few sort of shark encyclopedias. And again, these ones we didn't read cover to cover, but um, we just kind of looked through them or I set some of these just out for my kids to look at. This one is Usborne Discovery Internet Link Sharks. Uh, this is out of print, but I was able to find a used copy online. Uh, these are cool because for every page, there are corresponding inter internet links. So if you go to the website, you can see YouTube videos and other internet sites that are about the, the specific topic of that page. So it's a really great jumping off point. So you can, you know, read a little bit about the topic and then hop over to the website and see, you know, some videos and some websites that are about the same thing, which is pretty cool. And so some of the other encyclopedias I have, I have this DK Eyewitness Shark book. So again, just a shark encyclopedia full of pictures. Hopefully not something you're going to sit and read aloud cover to cover, but a good one for kids to sit and look at or to read specific pages of throughout your unit. And then this is another DK one. This is I Wonder Sharks. Um, and this one's, I would say, for a slightly younger learner than the previous one, better for your preschool, early elementary uh, shark fan. And this one also has some activities. And I know, yeah, this shark game back here, um, I played with 
my son when he was, we've had this book for a while. I've played with my son many times as, you know, about a five-year-old who loved sharks. There's another shark game we played a bunch. So that's DK I Wonder Sharks. And last of all for encyclopedias is this Sharkopedia one. Again, just an encyclopedia full of interesting shark facts. Okay, so those are all the books that we used for Shark Week in our homeschool. I hope some of them will work for you too. I put all of the book names and links below. The links are Amazon affiliate links. So if you use those links to buy the books, you'll pay the same amount at Amazon, but at the same time, it will help support the show. So if you're thinking of getting any of these, be sure to check out those links. And thank you for watching. I will be back soon with more books from our ocean unit study.